Hey, I am John Barker, and welcome back to another episode of Who to Record, Show and Tell. Now, a few months ago, we made this episode about the tripods that we use for all our live production needs. And there were a few things about those tripods that we didn't quite like, um, and that's what spurred this sort of update on tripods. We went for two Benro tripods. This is the Aero 4 travel tripod. I've said tripod too many times already. And um, the other one we have is the Aero 2. We'll get to that a bit later. Um, but for now, this is the Aero 4. It's a really nice uh, tripod for what we need it for, which is uh, it needs to be sturdy, it needs to go high, but fold small, and um, it needs to be usable, you know? And finding a bunch of tripods that fit that uh, specific specification was hard because it really needs to fold small enough to fit inside our travel cases. And with that, when I take off the head of this one, it fits nicely in there. Um, speaking about a few tech specs, I'm just gonna look at them here, but it will fold right down to um, 55 centimeters when it's folded, so that's perfect for me. Um, like I say, I take off the head and it fits nicely in the bag, but it will go all the way up with the, max, with the, the column uh, put up, it'll go all the way up to 165 centimeters. So that's more than enough for what I need. And um, that's one of the things I really wanted to not lose out on was I still wanted to get a nice height. And it does that and it stays sturdy all the way up there, um, which is great. It comes with this nice video head. Um, I think it works really well. It's taken me a little bit of time to get used to how it works. The, um, the, the pan, is a little bit shaky unless you listen all the way. So it doesn't have nice fine controls for tension or anything like that. It's um, it's smooth, but like I say, it doesn't really have any really fine controls. So you kind of just have to get used to using it. Um, but that's great. The legs are great. They fold away nicely. And then one of the three legs will screw will uh, will screw off to be a monopod, which is nice. So you can take the one leg and you take the head off, screw them together and um, it becomes a monopod useful if that's the kind of thing that you need um but yeah this is this is our kind of main go-to tripod now because of its foldability but also because of how high it gets whenever you extend it and want to use it as a production uh, production tripod and this is the other tripod this is the benro aero 2 tripod now this is much more lightweight and much more portable tripod it um it can be used for photography, it could be used for videography. Um, it's much smaller and it's a uh, folded down size, which is, let me just see here, 47, 46 and a half centimeters. And it can reach up to 100, almost 160 centimeters, 158. Um, so it can get really high too, more than high enough for what we wanted. That was one of our problems with the uh, Manfrotto uh, Be Free tripod, is it just wouldn't get a good height for us. So this one, Similar to the other one, it folds up nicely. It has one leg as a monopod that you can attach the head to. I would say one of the main downsides of this one is that the uh, the video, well, the tripod head is not really usable for video, I don't think, because you can't get smooth motion out of it. I've just found it to be very, very uh, unstable and jerky whenever I'm trying to do pans and tilts. So for me, this is the fixed uh, tripod. This is the fixed camera that I put at the back of the room that's what I wanted it for, so it's perfectly fine, but I just wouldn't use it for uh, any sort of motion or anything like that. Um, this one costs £150 or so um, without any VAT, and the Aero 4 costs just over £200 without any VAT. They're very affordable tripods, they're very lightweight, and they pack right down for somebody like me who travels around a lot and wants to preserve as much space as possible in that... Um, in my checked luggage. So those are the new tripods. That's just a quick little update from us. Hope you find it useful and uh, we'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.